Right now, a six-year-old girl is in critical condition after she was mauled by a dog over the weekend. We have learned her name is Jayla Smith, and she's now at Wolfson Children's Hospital. Police say that the dog that bit her was a mixed-breed pit bull. Animal Care and Protective Services picked up the animal, as you can see in this video, Sunday morning. Now, it will be held in quarantine for 10 days, which is typical. The I-Team reviewed numbers of dog bites and found that pit bulls were involved in more serious or fatal dog bites than other breeds. Now, this was not the family's dog. They were actually dog-sitting. That begs the question, who is responsible legally when something like this happens? Joining me this morning is Logan's attorney, John Phillips. Hey, John, good morning. Good morning. You know, as soon as you see something like this, first of all, your heart just breaks for this family. We know that there were some other dogs um, in the home at the time. What are the legal ramifications? Let's say that this little girl was visiting the home, right. first of all, right. and that this is you're the homeowner and they're visiting your home and this is your own personal dog. Could the family of that little girl sue you conceivably? It's, it, it gets complicated. So it starts off with dog owners are strictly liable for the actions of their dog. That's, that's rule number one. And then it gets into Florida carves everything up into a pie. Uh, of comparative negligence. And so if you have different situations, if the dog sitters had some liability and didn't keep the child away, um, that would be looked at. If the parents of the child, you know, left them with, with the dog, that, that would be looked at. And so a jury's allowed to carve up liability. Um, certainly a six-year-old wouldn't be at fault. Um, but the, the general rule is that we're all responsible for our own animals, even if we allow them to be with somebody else. Well, and I think that that's the next question that I would ask, too, is, is in this case, one would assume, you know, if you're bringing a dog into your house, and, and we don't know how well this family knew this dog, right. you know, that maybe you might ask the owner of the dog, hey, is this dog friendly with children? Is this dog friendly with other dogs? You know, and based on that, whatever was said and you felt comfortable enough to allow, you know, to, to dog sit this animal, could you hold the owner then responsible at least for medical bills and, and injury to this little girl? You could. And, and I recommend the family talk to a lawyer uh, and, and find, you know, find out what kind of where the rub is. Um, we're all required to be responsible uh, and reasonable people. That's, that's what the law requires. And when it comes to dogs, there's strict liability any animal. If your cow gets out, I, I know it's happened recently. You guys have reported, um, but you're 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 strictly responsible for for what happens with your animals. Now, does that change at all in the fact that the the family that's dog sitting said? welcome this animal into their home that there could be because you know you think about the I'm getting ready to go on a trip now I don't have a dog right. uh, you know but I have a small kitten and that's a different situation but if you know my my relatives who have dogs are getting ready to go on a trip and ask you know a neighbor or a friend to watch them I don't think anybody thinks about well what if my dog bites you know someone in that home and what my liability is right. for that the first thing you'd look at to see if there was any contractual liability if hmm. if the, the the dog sitters and they should when you're doing something like that, you need to probably look for insurance and look to see, um, you know, how the responsibility is delegated, Jen, because um, that's important. But you, you'd look to the contracts, and if, the, if, not, if there's no contract, then you'd look to see who did what and when, and was it reasonable? What did the dog sitter know? What, what knowledge did the owner depart uh, to the to the person, it's it's it was one of the concerns that I had with the Jaguars having um, dogs uh, at the right. park this year. Its owners are going to be responsible, but it's it's when you mix these these random people with dogs that you don't know that that could create somebody you know some something outside of the stadium. And then the other part of this too, and I have heard about this happening to to friends of mine who have dogs. Depending upon the breed of the dog, a lot of homeowners insurance companies will not write policies if you have. You know, certain dogs that are deemed, you know, more aggressive than others. So you wonder if the homeowner, you know, assuming that this, the person who owns this home has insurance and the insurance company finds out, is there some kind of, you know, problem associated with keeping that homeowner? There is. So, so insurance companies, homeowners insurance companies particularly, have gotten more aggressive with exclusions because they know they can. And so it started out that they'd, they'd get rid of these large dog breeds or the, the more aggressive breeds uh, pit bulls, types like that, and now, and then that it was dogs over 25 pounds, and now it's it's excluded for all dogs, and so the good news is a lot of lawyers won't take cases if there's no insurance, but we do, 
But the, 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 the bad side is you've got everybody loses. You've got somebody with a dog that's now going to be quarantined. You've got some, a, a poor child in this instant who's been bitten, um, who, who, you know, if they don't have health insurance is going to be, um, you know, on the, on the tax rolls essentially for some of their medical treatment. And so it's, it's a lose-lose situation that's, that's really sad. I think that, I think the message for our, you know, folks who are watching this morning is you, you have to ask a lot of questions. And, and, and unfortunately in this day and age, you, you know, you have to think about what are the legal issues and possible ramifications associated with something like this or anything else. You do. In, in, anytime you have children it, it, with pools or with guns or with dogs, you just you just got to be smart and ask more questions and be more responsible. Great advice, John Phillips. Thank you for My being pleasure. here this morning. Do appreciate it. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story. For the latest headlines, go to newsforjax.com as we continue to follow.